Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities and he's carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way, and not according to the tradition they have received from us. For you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you, so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be, and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed, who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evildoing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, it's important to remember that God's mercy and grace are at work in us. Now, Jesus calls the scribes and the Pharisees hypocrites. The hypocrites for calling, for caring more about external things, 
cultivating righteousness for the sake of accolades than, than what is inside them. Paul was once a Pharisee, but he was, had been transformed by the gospel, preaching Christ crucified for the sake of the salvation of as many who would hear and understand. His words and his actions are united in that single purpose. He is the very opposite of a hypocrite. So we can understand his angst in his letter today to the Thessalonians. Some of those in the community had acted, as he writes, not according to the tradition that they had received from us. History tells us that this group he addresses were the people who had taken his message and distorted it. They believed that the second coming of Christ was so imminent that they stopped working for their living. Paul reminds them that this is what not he and the others, namely Silvanus and Timothy, remember at the beginning of the letter, had taught them, nor is it how they acted. As he said, quote, For we did not act in a disorderly way, disorderly way among you, he writes, nor did we eat food received for free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. This is an example of an authentic witness to the gospel. It's an example of, of one who knows he is serving the people he needs. He models for them what he has personally received from Christ, so that us may come to know Christ too through him. God took Paul, took Paul rather, considered a Pharisee's Pharisee by his contemporaries, a hypocrite, and in his unfathomable ways of, and mercy, made him a model to imitate Christ. Through divine grace, God made Paul the apostles of the Gentiles and one of the most significant reasons for the growth of the early church. Therefore, we might think of his message today as a message of hope, for God's mercy and grace are work in us as well. When we cooperate with it, when we allow him to deliver us from any hypocrisy we might inhabit, then we, may, we find our own ability to imitate Christ. Trusting in the, the Lord of peace to meet all of our needs, let us bring our petitions before him. For the church, may God grant within her people a purity of heart and genuine witness of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in positions of governmental and civic leadership, may Christ inspire them in modeling self-sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and for our homebound parishioners, may the Lord sustain them through his loving presence and the generosity of his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God look favorably and generously upon the work of our hands, that it may be for his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Alexander O'Connor, His Eminence Lawrence Cardinal Sheehan, and Reverend James O'Connell, May they rejoice in the gift of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, may they be filled with wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers and ask that you answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For into the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, 
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, the Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril, may they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, lest it is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you. I believe that you. Are present. Are present. In the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire. And I desire. To receive you. To receive you. Into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot. Since I cannot. At this moment. At this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if. As if. You were already there. You were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me. Never permit me. To be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Come to me all you who labor and are burdened and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. O, o God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that, free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may per persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the yeah. Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.